when we were out at Claude's earlier this afternoon. I mean, we were just all standing outside sweating, just thinking, this is not right. There's <laughs> something wrong with this. You know, we can sneak in some heat this time of year. You know, we're in our 120th year of temperature records in Tulsa. The temperature records go back to 1905. About half of those, we've at least hit 90 one day in October. But I was surprised when I looked this up. What is the record for the most 90 degree days in the month of October? 14 days in 1963. Anybody remember October of that year? That was a toasty October. Now, I do think we'll have a few more to add to the list uh, after what we get today uh, with the next cool down probably coming in as we go into early next week. Also, keeping an eye on the drought monitor. This is the latest update. And one thing that we did not see last week was the extreme drought now that we have got developed here across northern portions of Washington County, Nowata County, northern areas here of uh, Rogers County, and just kind of clipping here parts of Craig County as well, and even far northwestern uh, Mays County, and also here far southern portions of, of uh, Chautauqua County, at least southeast portions of Chautauqua County, and southern portions of Montgomery County, also under that extreme drought. And then also as you head out to the west here, as you get out toward Noble County and far western portions of Palm Pawnee County, that drought uh, continues to be an issue. And we need rainfall, and unfortunately, we don't have any rain in that forecast currently, with things continue to look very dry for us. You can see just how quiet it is, not just over us, but much of the middle part of the country. It's hard to even find a single cloud out there at the moment. It'll likely stay that way for a while. We will have a front approaching us tomorrow, but what's going to happen as this front begins to move in? It's basically going to stall out over the area, so we'll still have a toasty day tomorrow, although those of you north and west may stay in the 80s for highs, but most of us probably at least about 90 again, maybe a little warmer than that, and that front's going to wash out with southerly winds returning as we head into Saturday, so we'll have another hot and sunny day on Saturday. And then the next front here at the top of your screen, that's what will sweep in probably sometime Sunday into Sunday night. That's what will cool us off as we go into Monday. Another great view here for the Tulsa State Fair. Got to show this as many times as we can. Love all the activity there on the Midway. It's going to be a great evening if you have plans to head out there. Clear skies right now, lots of sunshine, and we'll keep it clear this evening. Current temperatures at 92 in Tulsa. That is after a high of night, or excuse me, 91 after a high of 92 this afternoon. And we'll see temperatures tonight dropping back into the upper 50s to low 60s, maybe even a handful of spots holding into the mid uh, 60s tomorrow morning. And as mentioned, we're back up into the low 90s for highs tomorrow afternoon. By the way, it is an ozone alert day tomorrow as well, so that air quality could reach unhealthy levels. With that front nearby, we may not quite get as much wind as what we've got out there today. So the air may be somewhat stagnant, especially once we get to the afternoon. So uh, that's why we have that air quality alert for tomorrow. And again, upper 80s to low 90s for tomorrow. Keeping those highs at least at 90 through the weekend. If you have any plans to finish out the Tulsa State Fair Saturday and Sunday. And then back into the 80s for highs, but still above average into early next week. And we'll get you into next weekend coming up at around 6 o'clock.